Greetings. This is Charles Darwin, and I'm speaking to you from Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona. When I entered, the attendant at the station asked me if I was over 62 years old and I would get a discount if I was. I wasn't sure how to tell her that I was 203 years old, so I just paid the regular price and came in. This is an amazing place to visit, and lots of people do visit it. So I'm speaking to you from Jasper Forest, which is a little bit off the road and not visited by as many people, so I can make this video for you. And what is behind me may look like a rock with pretty colors, colors such as blue and green and red. These are caused by different minerals, but this is no ordinary rock. As you probably know by looking at it, this used to be a tree trunk. 200 million years ago, the land that right now is desert and 6,000 feet above sea level was a forest of conifers. Flowering plants had not yet evolved. And the trunks were mostly of large trees known as Aracariozylon. And they died and fell into the sediments, which were deposited slowly over them under oxygen-free conditions. And normally, tree trunks decompose after they die. But under these conditions, the tree trunks decomposed slowly enough that minerals such as silicates and with various kinds of metals such as copper and iron in them to give them the colors that you see, actually replaced these slowly decomposing organic materials. With the result that instead of the structure being lost, as normally happens during decomposition, that the minerals actually replaced the wood, sometimes almost at the cellular level so that you can see, right here for example, you can actually see some of the grain of the original wood 200 million years ago. Now what this tells us is that conditions of the earth have changed vastly over the last 200 million years and even over a longer period of time. This is no longer a forest of conifers. The environment has changed in every part of the earth and over the earth as a whole. Another thing that we can learn from coming to some place such as Petrified Forest is that the Earth has a very long history and the sediments and the fossils contained within those sediments, such as petrified wood, record the history of that change. There are still some people who believe that all of the sediments were deposited during a single flood of Noah. And yet, if that was the case, why is it that in this location we find only the trunks of Aracarius Island. We don't find the trunks of any hardwood trees, which are mostly flowering plants, and therefore they only evolved about 120 million years ago. They didn't exist yet. We don't find any of their fossils. There are fossils of ferns, there are fossils of conifers, but there are no flowering plants. Oh, by the way, there were no dinosaurs yet either, except in some areas, very small ones. But the large dinosaurs that you usually hear about had not yet evolved. And so by coming here, not only do you see the amazing petrified wood with its beautiful colors and the preservation of the details of what had once been a living tree, but also you see evidence that this had to be formed over a long period of time and that this forest represented a single forest that existed before the evolution of flowering plants and dinosaurs and that was not produced by some gigantic flood. Therefore, the earth has a history and you can see it beautifully revealed at places such as Petrified Forest National Park. And so I say, Viva la Evolución! And as I depart, I'm going to show you my better side. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho and amen.